right now we're going to go to Texas, to Houston, to talk to Pat. Hey, Pat, thanks for hanging on. Thanks for your patience. It's your turn now. You are live. Okay. Thanks, Doc. I have a uh, seven-month pregnant uh, young lady who has has had the ultrasound, and it says that there are two cysts on the brain of the baby and that the baby's head is, is a little too small and the umbilical fluid is funky, for lack of a better term. Is there anything we can do to help? Well, yeah, who knows, right? I mean, God knows, but God's keeping quiet about it. So the human body has a, a remarkable ability to fix itself, and the majority, if not 100% of birth defects, uh, from our point of view, are caused by nutrient deficiencies. You know, the child isn't born with a funky body uh, because of a voodoo curse. The child is vo born with a funky body because the mother's blood didn't have enough nutrients to support proper tissue development. Now, that's why. For instance, cystic fibrosis. While it proved that cystic fibrosis wasn't caused by a bad gene, it was caused by a chromosome that was broken. A chromosome that was broken. Why? Because the, there wasn't enough selenium in the body to have a strong chromosome. It's kind of like if you had a ladder and the ladder, the, the aluminum that the ladder was made out of was faulty and it was made, you know, with grade D aluminum. And, the, you know, it was made in the factory late at night and then the aluminum, uh, the ladder makers were, you know, drunk and they didn't do everything just right. And so the ladder was made with inferior aluminum. And so you put it up against the house and you climb up a couple of steps and, and the, the, the metal bends. And then if you put too much weight on it, it breaks. Well, the same thing happens with your chromosomes. They'll break if they don't have enough minerals. And so, you know, the, the, the thing that I'm trying to get to here is that in order to optimize the health of children in utero, you must provide the mother with 100% of her maternal nutrition. There ain't no way on earth that's going to happen just from eating from the four food groups. Now, this is the pediatrician's fault, by the way. If this child is born, uh, is stillborn, or if the child is born with a birth defect or there's a problem, it's the pediatrician's fault because it's the pediatrician's job to ensure a healthy child, and the pediatrician, knowing nothing about medical nutrition, has let the mother down completely. But there's no way on God's green earth anybody is ever going to blame the doctor because we genuflect at their altar all of the time. We need our heads examined. So the recommendation here to support and promote a healthy uh, baby would be support and promote a healthy mother. And so the recommendation is one healthy pack of selenium, one extra bottle of minerals per month, and also into the bargain I would give the alt capsules. In addition to that, Pat, the mother must stop eating the 10 bad foods. She must do it. And then we're going to keep our fingers crossed and see if we have intervened in time. See if we've intervened in time enough for the body to fix it. And, you know, before I met Doc and started applying his therapeutics, I used to think I knew where the point of no return was. I used to think I knew where the body's point of no return. Oh, no, that's too far gone. You can't fix that. Can't do it. <clears throat> I saw one child with Dr. Wallach. This was the uh, grandchild of Evil Knievel, I believe. Remember that motorcycle guy, Evil Knievel? Well, I believe it was his daughter's uh, pregnancy. Or maybe it was his son's wife's pregnancy. I can't remember. But in any event, they, they were all related to Evil Knievel, either by marriage or by birth. She was pregnant. She had uh, an amniocentesis done, and it revealed that the child had Down syndrome. And, you know, in the first, I think, second or first month of the pregnancy, oh, it's Down syndrome. And so Walt put the woman on an aggressive uh, medical nutrition program, and nine months later the child was born without Down syndrome. Why? Because they had intervened in time. So you have no idea wh when the body can fix it and when the body can't fix it, and what do we do? We just give the body everything it needs, stop eating the food that's coming up the works, and keep our fingers crossed. This is a good recipe for here. Does that sound like an operative plan, Pat? Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Doc. All right, you go, girl. Keep up the good work.